Good morning, folks. We've got a couple space weather items to see today. We'll get a couple of pieces of eye candy, a weird story about the past, and a peek into the direction of the field of solar forcing of the atmosphere. But we are starting with our star, and we find the last 24 hours was once again like a warrior in a garden. One M-class flare this morning from the departing northern group on the right, couple plasma filaments releasing as well, including one partially attached to the massive sunspot group facing Earth. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet. In addition to the large active region facing Earth today, there is another filament trailing behind it, making the northern hemisphere the primary focus for eruptive activity. But right now, let's take a closer look at that sunspot. It is glaringly ominous looking there near center disk, with multiple umbral cores and continued growth. The reason it hasn't yet flared is because of its magnetic setup a relative lack of complexity. The polarities are pretty well divided down the middle, even though this appears to be morphing this morning. For a big flare, we'll need more interaction between umbra of opposing polarities. We'll have eyes on that today. Folks, there is an interesting story about the central engine of the Milky Way activating about 200 years ago and unleashing an X-ray event that is now visible as a light echo traveling through the nearby gaseous region to the Sagittarius A. This, of course, actually happened about 26,000 years ago, but the light is just now reaching us here. The flare light itself from the center would have been visible to modern technology if it had existed in the early 1800s. Up next, we're zooming in with the ESO to the Smiling Cat Nebula. This is the best and most detailed shot yet of the region, which is allowing for close-in looks at some of the features of the nebula, including some gas pillars within the cocoon. Gorgeous. A bit of weirdness here is they're now saying that placental mammals like humans, bats, and dogs must have at least briefly coexisted with dinosaurs. Previous research had obviously suggested we had evolved after their extinction, looking like that is no longer the case. And last but not least, a step forward in atmospheric dynamics that indicates the future progression of the field. They are working to greater understand how energetic particles impact the atmosphere at all altitudes, and while it's still early in the subfield progress, this is one of the ways they will eventually better understand solar forcing of the atmosphere and the climate, cheering on this team and all those like them. We greatly appreciate your support. I'll be monitoring that sunspot group magnetism today. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.